Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm your host, Mike, and these, these are my gaming adventures. We're now going about to do Sequence 4, A Spoonful of Syrup. But before we start this, I want to let you all know that I have actually took the liberty and I actually unlocked all the viewpoints in the map, making the navigation a lot easier to do. Especially to move around and stuff like that, since it appears that most of these missions can be done in less than 15 minutes. So I figure if uh, I want to extend that, I can just simply bounce around and try to achieve and knock out some of the side objectives much easier by jumping through the shortcuts. So, without further ado, a spoonful of Serb Jacob investigates a new drug that is ravaging London to uncover its creator. Full sync will give me an extra 75 and 100 plus 10. But also the rewards is also a brass knuckle crow's strength. Which that would be pretty neat to go back to into the knuckles. For right now, let's see what happens now. Seems like these two are having a bickering. The, young, the lady and uh, merchant. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's that having some issue. You are scaring away my customers. I don't you bugger off or I'll give you something to remember me by. Oh, you can't talk to me like that, you little guttling. What's all this then? Oh, shut up. Seriously, man, you're gonna try to mess. If you'll excuse me, madam. Right, let's go look for this. This little rascal. Come on, come on. The tunnel it is, eh? What the hell do you want? Alright. Like he closed the gate on me. Slide under. There you are. Oh no. Huh. There you go. Wait. Swing. I have a living. You're turning them, turning everybody, giving those people it appears to be like some type of sedative or some type of liquefying their brains and such. Come on, where are you? Tackle him! Bam! Yeah, I think soon I might actually try to change his uniform. He looks a little too raggedy. Tell me where the syrup originates. I'm here to make a run each time between the cosmeters and the asylum. Alright. So let's go over there. Locate the distributor. Let's find out where that syrup is made, shall we? Need more syrup. She'll be done selling what I've left tonight. You'll get a shipment tomorrow. Don't try to get away from me! It won't work! Try this. Try this way. Here's uh, Jacob's ability to actually go around. Sneaking is not that strong. I should have really focused a little bit on it. That's fine. I'm assuming there's got a. This game will continue letting me try, humiliating myself over and over again. Building, so I see if I can actually get up, get through. Oh, 
In charge of the I got it. I got it. Run. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Uh, distributor boss. Distributor boss knows the location of Styrix, uh soothing syrup. This uh, the distillery. Uh, he frequents the Fight Club in Southwark Foundry. Oh, fudge nuggets. Get away. Oh no, that's just the game telling me know that it's already done. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I have to locate this per this person for the distillery. Distillery? Ah, jeez. Can't even pronounce that word. Distill? Still? Still? Distillery. Leave him alone, man. Leave him alone. Alright. Let's see. He's in here. Let's climb over this wall. Guy right over here. Alright. Tutorial kidnapping. When undetected behind an enemy, press the circle to kidnap them. Move slowly near nearby uh your enemies to shrink your detection radius. Move faster will make it easier for enemies to detect you. Press the circle to shove the kidnapper captive into a enclosed carriage. Not so tough now, are we? So good. Come on. Need you to move away from there. Are you really not gonna plan to move? Now he moves. So good. Straight, stay there. Stay there. Come on. We're leaving. I don't, if you move, I will swear I will kick you. So far, I think I cleared the path. I think I managed to to kill to kill the the guard that was here. So it should be relatively smooth sailing from here. Come on. 
think there's nobody else outside. I don't require a reason to end your life. Come on, let's just waltz right out. I think we are perfectly good. Restraint. Alright. And we made it out. Yes! Undetected. Where is the syrup mate? So our guy has zero ever hold your stuff. The distillery. It's the large building beside the brewery. Now, to stop soothing syrup production once and for all. I all right, spoonful of syrup completed. Challenges remain undetected and steal the plants undetected. Our 100% synchronization. Sweet. All right. Before we can wrap this up. Now took a little longer than expected. Can I actually... Can Jacob actually open this chest? If... Is it above me? Yeah, it's above me. Let's climb up to the top. Here it is, another gold chest. Can you open it, Jacob? Did you just push me? Yeah. Alright, what did I get? Bro deal. I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it will come in handy later on in life. So, since this one is gone, something we can do here, meanwhile. Oh, you know what? What we can do? And some of the associates, they're not really technically part of the storyline. So just jump to over here because I'm kind of curious who this T is. Name is Robert Topping. It's the fastest one here. We'll do. We'll check out who Topping is, and then we'll check out what this one is. That way, we can end the episode at least with with doing. Um, a few little sides and unlocking some of the things but um what i didn't record was there was a cut scene right after the last episode that was with uh ned which is a female like a, a woman or appears to be a woman in a suit that controls all of the uh transports so she was interested she said she jumped jumped on the train stating that that she that if you're interested in doing some kind of business with her to just meet up with her at the train station I'll probably at one point we go over there possibly maybe in the next episode just go over there just to unlock just to see what what activities are actually unlocked with her so it sounds like it's more side quests which is pretty good i could always use the extra money and experience and stuff like that and it also makes it pretty simple if it's something that's like very extensive i might just do a uh, live place i do a live a live one or continue the live ones just to kind of um unlock unlock uh on Remove all the uh, territory, uh, the territories from the, the enemies and stuff like that, and liberate them, as well as do the, some of those. But for now, we are going the wrong way. We're gonna go right up here. We have to go. It's 200. It's not, not that. It's, I don't think it's that that far. Check out who miss this uh, Robert Toppings is. Oh, just, just, just stop. Just stop. I don't have time for you. And I also need to start looking for uh, resources. I can't do uh, gang upgrades without um, more leather. I have no idea where to, where to actually get leather. This close just to get your rear end kicked in. Gonna happen. Really? Really? I want to see you try. Oh no, it's a cop right uh -huh. The cops are there. No, I don't want to fight you. I feel kind of bad killing the cops. Alright. Haha, uh -huh, all over you. I stepped on all over the fish. Alright, so. Oh, look who it is. 
All right. Let's talk to him. See what ex what associate does he provide me at with. That's kind of funny. So it's the guy that um, TV met. Apparently he's sleeping. No, it wasn't me. Not guilty. Beg your pardon. You, you're the one. I assure you, we've never <laughs> met. Is this a prize fighting ring? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord, my lady. The name's Robert Toffin. Best bookie in all of London. Actual oh, so he's a bookie. Well, second best, but my mum says Don was a bit of a Lincoln poop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. Right? So... He provides the extra activity, uh, extracurricular activities. Bare fist fighting, and he said something about carriage fighting. So, uh, carriage, so that means, like, I guess, racing. Let's check it out real quick the fight club. Fight and win in local price uh, fighting ring. 1250 in, in money and 350 in experience. Let's check it out real quick. Do that one and go on to the next that other other gear looking point. Oh, so I'm shirtless with some kind of bird. Oop, the jukes. Oh, come now. Don't you know who I am? Bam! Headbutt. Oh, snap. Ah, oh, I hate these guys with the whole blocking. Bam! Look at that. Oh my goodness. The beatdown is real. Man, these upgrades, these upgrades that I got for this guy is ridiculous. Don't get me wrong, this fight's only up for like level 2, so I'm assuming there's uh, other levels that just makes makes these a little more challenging. One down. Go. You have bought. Bring you both down. Oh, the double. Bam. Jeez. Next, I jump. Oh, the jukes! And there you go. Pills. Oh, look at that. Come on. Oh, bam. <laughs> All right. I guess we got two more rounds. Two more rounds of this. Kind of very simple. And the jukes. Oof. Boxing gloves are definitely not required here. And the bobbing and weavings. Oh, broken arm. Kiss the knee. Do the same to you. And eat the floor. Whoa. Didn't even notice you. Oh. Jeez. All right, big boy. It's all up to you now. Ooh, that actually hurt. Come on. Dude, you're this big. You're big, man. You should be able to take me out like nothing. All right, last round. Last round, guys. One more. All right, what is it? Oh, it's bigger guys. Two big guys. Oh, the juice. Oh. Notice that. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get the triple. Can I get the triple? Let's see. Oh, oh, bam! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, the breaking of the knee and ankles. All right, so there's a triple. There's a triple to this. There's a triple. Now it makes me wonder if there's a there's a, a quad and higher. Bam! Come on. Oh, the beatdowns are real. That takes you. Oh, you actually hit me, you bastard. There we go. Oh wow, I'm almost dead here. Oh, that's it. Triple combo. And bam! 
Everyone gets broken uh, broken legs. Good. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Oh look, this one actually gives me leather. That's something to, to actually pay attention to. It definitely help me out. Alright, what we'll do now is uh check out that other place. If anything, I will come back here to actually finish off my leather starvation that I have. Since this one obviously provides me it. So where is that other thing before I cut this part out? Oh, it's all the way over here. Let's just check it out quickly. Now, uh, these two were actually relatively fast, so it should not take that long. Where is it on my map? Making sure. And up we go. 200 meters away. So slide here. I don't know if this is actually faster or slower. I feel that it's appears to be faster because I guess they're just on the rooftops and it looks more like straight lines than anything else but it might be actually a tad slower all right all right that takes care of it. it's almost there almost there guys 80 80 meters I have to at one point jump down Let's just jump down now. It looks like it's right there. Go. Dude, the way that guy, he just drops like that. It's like, it's insane. Alright, 40 me- Oh, it's literally underground. Let's jump over this wall. I think I was here before. I was here. Uh, was I here? Oh. Drop, drop. All right, let's check out what this is. No, it's not an actual cutscene. Okay. Run zigzag through here. It's gotta be probably something you know, like some kind of something that involves me collecting something. Usually, whenever they have something like that, the little geared-looking things, usually that's what it involves. And yep. Yeah. God, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Oh, that was musical some musical boxes. box I found. Now who's mad? musical box that I found out of dumb luck all right the secret of London all right so apparently I just have to pay attention to the pictures and eventually there seems to be quite a lot of them since I already found one great but apparently there <laughs> there's quite a few here Jeez, the number 32, so that means there's minimum 32 of these things. Oh boy. Alright, so apparently you have to insert into two. So let's insert number one, I guess. Wow, that... Oh, I was about to say. Okay, let's insert the next one. Okay, it seems like it's gonna take a while. It seems like they all have four, each one were seven. Is it four, six? Well, six. 
One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 40 of these, 48 of these bad boys. Oh boy, it's going to take a while. Well, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like, please like, favor, and subscribe. There'll be plenty more of Assassin's Creed, but until then, have a nice day.